Okay, folks, here it is. It's me, Ghost Critic, showing off every single Uncanny X-Men comic that I have. Yes, we're up to the letter U, the one I've been putting off for ages. Um, I will say, I don't think I can possibly talk all the way through these so you'll probably get some genre music playing in the background um, and I'll say something maybe once or twice. What I will say just to kick it all off I started collecting Uncanny X-Men round about when it was in the early 400s and was completely captivated um, with, with the characters and the whole universe and my kind of love of the title continued from there. Now I knew I was never gonna get the whole run, so I decided we'll go from issue 200 and we'll see how we go. Um, of course, when you see a couple of earlier ones and they're a good price, you pick them up. So my earliest X-Men comic, and it's really not that early, we start with Uncanny X-Men issue 151. Um, the day Kitty Pride leaves. I'm just going to go through these. Um, I will not be offended if you don't get through the whole of this. Um, but here they are. Um, I've never really been too worried about the condition of these. Um, a lot of them are pretty much reader copies, but uh, quality grading wise, I've never been that worried about it. Um, it's just, I just love the, the X-Men, or at least I did. Um, I kind of stopped, um, well, Quite a while ago now, um, and obviously it's it's rebooted, um, relaunched, and they're going to relaunch it yet again, from what I hear. So here we go <coughs> into the two hundreds. All of the mutants crossover. We've seen a lot of those. Great brood cover there, one of my favourite covers. Inferno storyline. I guess starring X Factor there in issue 242. Great little um cover there. X, um, the X cross with Wolverine on it. First batch. Moving on.
the Extinction Agenda crossover. I think I've managed to get all the crossovers now on that. Issue 281, where they all kind of swap teams, and of course, Bishop was um, introduced to um, our Uncanny X Men universe. Oh look, there's Storm being scared because it's dark. She's obviously in the tunnels with the Morlocks. How many times have we seen that storyline? Oh, an Executioner's Song crossover. If you can see that, but I've still got the trading card that that came with. Issue 300 with the sparkly silver card. Blood ties crossover. Another X crossover, the um, Phalanx Covenant, is that how you say it? Phalanx? <coughs> Whoops. Then out the way, next one. Oh. Legion Quest, um, the storyline that um, eventually ended up with our um, Age of Apocalypse when all the titles just stopped and um, we had the World of Apocalypse. I think that's like a, a wraparound cover for issue Dear Maggot, one of the worst mutants ever created. <coughs> 
what's your mutant power? Yes, I can let slugs come out of my stomach. Mm -mm. Some great cello covers. Uncanny X-Men has definitely changed issue 360. Um, yeah, Uncanny X-Men has definitely changed a lot, haven't they? Um, it used to be so much fun. I used to get to go off in space and um, have really great adventures. And now it's all very... I mean, it's always been very soap opera-esque. But um, oh, it's all very serious now. Um, the Hunt for um, Xavier crossover. What a surprise. Another one. Hope you're still there with me. Are you still there? Hello? <laughs> Only two more to go. Only two more piles. Sort of. Maybe. Oh, issue 390. Colossus takes the legacy virus cure but sacrifices himself in the process. <laughs> Another very weird mutant, Stacy X. Um, her mutant powers were pheromones, and basically she was a, a hooker when she, we first got introduced to her. Issue four hundred. Uh, yeah, I think it was round. Yeah, round about here. I start remember these um, covers. Um, this is when I started um, properly collecting um, Uncanny X Men. Um, one of those, we never see these anymore, the Nuff Said issues where the story was told completely in pictures, no words whatsoever. Kind of miss those.
Chuck Austin. Oh, when he came onto the Uncanny X Men, that was that was a dark time in the Uncanny X Men um, um, title. The stories. Oh, you were a proper loyal fan of the Uncanny X Men if you were still picking up. Um, the title when um, Chuck Austin was on, it was, it was very strange. He had some very lame ideas, it has to be said. And then to add, well, I, I don't want to, this sounds unfair, but to, to add insult to injury, um, we were given the artistry of Asamiya, who decided to give everyone quite a, a manga-esque feel with um, kind of pointy noses and they were all very, very slim. Hey, if you're still there, I promise this is the last pile. Believe it or not. <sighs> oh, and the Draco, this kind of... I don't know whether they kind of changed this, but it was the whole... Nightcrawler's father is a demon or the devil or something like that. Oh, it was... Oh. The quicker they got Austin off this, the better. with Angel storyline. I think this was a bit of a kind of Romeo and Juliet kind of storyline. Um, used so often. And then Chris Claremont came back for a, a short spell to try and um, liven up and Kenny X Men, hopefully bring it back to its glory days. Um, Alan, da is it Alan Davis? I bet it's not, but he was on artwork. It was a, uh, I've always found him an acquired taste, to be honest. Four hundred and fiftieth issue, and ooh, who is this with a clause coming out? But only two. Who could that have been? Oh, it was. It was X twenty three. Um, there were some terrible covers on Uncanny X Men. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Yes, Claremont decided to bring um, Psylocke back after many, many years ago, away, I should say. So we're coming up to the end now, guys. Thanks for sticking around if you did. 
Um, you're probably thinking, well, he's only at issue 463 now, but there's loads more than that. Well, this basically, we're coming up to the last issue with issue 465 linking into the House of M storyline. And this was kind of at the year where I had to take a hiatus of comics and um, and stop altogether, unfortunately. So that was my last Uncanny X-Men. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, that was Uncanny X-Men. Thank God that one's over. Take care. Bye-bye.